Hi everyone, this is Greta and Brent, and welcome to our channel. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Or if you're new here, welcome. So in today's video, we're going to be doing Thanksgiving tablescape. I'm going to take you over to our dining room, and uh, we're going to be setting up our table. I'm going to show you how I put together this year's tablescape. So this year's um, color, I'm going to be using a lot of um, like tan, brown, some white, some cream, um, a little bit of orange thrown in there, um, some copper, um, pretty much all the colors that you see in this um, napkin ring. Now, I wanted to use this for this year, but I managed to only find one. I don't know where the rest of my uh, napkin rings um, went. <laughs> it was probably stored away in a different container, uh, got mixed up with the other holiday decor. So unfortunately, I'm not going to use this, but this is pretty much the color that I'm going to be using. So yeah, so I'm excited to get started. Um, let's go to the table now and show you what I have. Okay, so first step, I'm going to try and remove all these chair covers that are in here. The chair covers have been here since Easter, so I'm going to change that up. Like I mentioned before, um, the color of the chairs are actually dark chocolate, so that's perfect for fall. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all those first, and then we're going to set our... We're going to put uh, some plates, some glasses, some wine glasses, um, some chargers, and possibly maybe a uh, table runner in there. So, yeah, let's. So, let me go ahead and remove all those uh, seat covers. <laughs>
So this first tablescape is a simple one. I've used only minimal decor. I wanted to use the basic essentials to a minimum. So I think so much so that I um, completely forgot to add the, um, or film the napkins on the plates, but you get the gist of it. I was planning on using the napkins from my uh, summer tablescape that I did about two years ago. I'll insert some pictures here so you can see what they look like. gold maple leaf etched stemless wine glasses that I got from HomeSense. I believe they're $14.99 for a set of four. Using these for drinking water and the other one for drinking wine. So this is how the uh, tablescape number one turned out. Uh, it's very simple, like I said earlier. Um, yeah, so let me know which one you like. Uh, the second one is coming right up, so stay tuned for that. So this is the wreath that I was looking for last year that I thought I lost, um, but I'm glad I, I found it. Uh, it is in our storage, um, so I'm putting this one up this year and I'm going to put it up on that uh, mirror right up there and um, yeah so I thought it goes well with the rest of uh, the uh, tablescape that I'm going to be putting together for tablescape number two so stick around for that so this street uh, if I haven't already mentioned I got this at uh, home goods in the states uh, with this clusters of pumpkins and pine cones and some twigs. And this was priced at $39.99. So once Thanksgiving is over and I put away all of my uh, fall and Thanksgiving decorations, I think I'll know uh, best where to put uh, or where to store this wreath so that way I don't have to go searching for it for next year. 
Okay, so let's start on tablescape number two. Let me just put out all of the decorations that I'll be using for this one. So I'm going to be using the same table runner as I did on the first one. I got this one um, at HomeSense. It's, uh, the name brand is Vitari. I probably got this about two years ago. And if I can find the link, I will include it in the uh, description box below, or perhaps something similar to it. I really like how this table runner looks, especially with the intricate details and the beautiful beaded design as you can see here. Next, I'll be adding more floral picks, and these are from Dollarama. You may have remembered these when I unboxed my fall decor last month. The shorter one cost me $3, and the longer ones, which I will add on each side, cost me $5.
So that's our tablescape number two. With this one, I've added a few more little touches, such as the uh, green floral candle holder and the geometric candles that I've used. By the way, uh, just for safety reasons, uh, please note that these are dried materials, so don't let your candles melt too low and potentially um, let your centerpiece catch on fire. Uh, that's something you definitely want to avoid. I only lit the candles here to demonstrate how they look when they are lit. Again, I didn't place any napkins on the uh, paper plates that I've selected, simply because I chose not to cover the uh, wordings on the plate that says grateful, thankful, and blessed. And I wanted our guests to see that as well when they're seated at the table. So what do you guys think? Which one do you like best? Let me know on the uh, comments section below. Also, if you like these types of video contents, do let me know because I have more holiday videos coming your way next week. And um, that's when I start to decorate for Christmas, the day after Thanksgiving, the American Thanksgiving, that is, because we also celebrate Thanksgiving here in Canada. It's earlier than our American counterparts. We celebrate Thanksgiving here on the second week of October. <laughs>
This pistachio coffee is so good. I think I'm gonna make it again tomorrow. And also this um, this fruit tart from the blacksmith bakery that we got looks so scrumptious. I can't wait to bite into this. So that's it for now. If you guys like this video, don't forget to uh, click that like button and give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel by hitting that subscribe button below. We hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday with your family and loved ones, and we hope to see you all back here next time. Until then, take care. Bye now.